What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. In today's video, we'll show you how to set up the new Nintendo 3DS emulator Citra Enhanced on your PC and laptop. As many of you know, Citra by Yuzu is one of the best Nintendo 3DS emulators for Android smartphones. After a legal issue, Citra has returned with a new update called Citra Enhanced. This means our favorite Citra is still alive, and we can once again play Nintendo 3DS games on our PC or laptop. Let's experience your favorite 3DS games on PC. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and remember to hit the bell button. The first step is to download and install the Citra emulator on your computer. You can get this emulator from their GitHub and official website, I'll leave the link in the description. A common question from my viewers is, can my PC or laptop run Citra? Luckily, Citra for PC has relatively low requirements, making it accessible to many setups. It starts from Windows 7, needs just 4GB of RAM, and can run on a dual-core processor. Plus, it's compatible with all major operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So, most modern PCs and laptops should be able to handle Citra without issues. Currently, the Citra emulator is available on Android, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows operating systems, so you can try it on other platforms as well. I'm using a Windows machine, so I'll download the Windows version. You'll see the current version and file size. Once the download finishes, we'll need to extract the file because it comes in a zip format. If you don't have an extractor on your PC, you can download 7-Zip, which is a reliable and free zip extractor. Right-click on the file, go to 7-Zip and select Extract here. After extraction, you'll get a folder containing all the files. Now you can delete the zip file. Open the folder and you'll see several files there, but the only one we need is the one named Citra. Double-click on it to launch the Citra emulator. Now that we're in Citra, we need to configure some settings before adding games. Go to Emulation at the top bar, then down to Configuration. I'll skip the general and system settings as they aren't necessary right now. Let's jump to the graphics options. For internal resolution, you can go up to 10x, which is equivalent to 4K resolution. I prefer using the native display resolution, but if your machine isn't highly configured, set it to 5x. The texture filter improves the quality of textures in the game. Each filter has different results, so I'll show each one on screen to help you see how they affect texture quality. Now let's select a screen layout. There are several options like single screen, large screen, side by side with separate windows, and hybrid screen. It's best to try each layout to find the one that suits you. Don't worry, you can switch layouts while playing games. Next, go to the Advanced tab. For Graphics API, I've found that Vulkan works best for NVIDIA or AMD graphics cards. You can also try OpenGL, as it varies by game and system. If you have a graphics card, make sure it's selected under Physical Device. Now let's move to Controls. The default control method is set to Keyboard. If you have a controller, it should be detected automatically. To change key bindings, just set your preferred keys in the controls. I found the default keys to work well, though, where you'll see options for hotkeys. If you want to set up keyboard hotkeys, feel free to do so. Once you're done, click the Save button. We're almost ready to run games. To add games to the Citra emulator, double-click on Add a New Folder, which will open your file manager. Navigate to the folder where you've stored your Nintendo 3DS games. The emulator supports .3DS format, so ensure your game files are in the correct format. Once you've selected the folder, click Save, and your games should appear in the game library. Double-click on a game to launch it. You can change the layout during gameplay by going to the View option, then Screen Layout. The gaming experience on this emulator is fantastic. Remember to always use legal game files. Share your thoughts in the comments below and check the description for more info. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Take care.